Hello and welcome to me and my golf TV. We are here at the beautiful Asprey and today we're going to show you how to control the distance on your pitch shots. It's time to take charge of your game. So today we're answering a YouTube question from Aaron Sinclair. Now Aaron is struggling with his 50 yard pitch shots getting good distance control, hitting the ball too far. Now we see this all the time, don't we Andy? Yeah, we do, yeah. People come for a golf lesson, hit some 50 yard pitches to warm up, and they're going 80 yards to start yeah, with. It's it almost. It always tends to take them a long time, Pierce, as well. We get yeah. them to sort of hit that shot, and it takes them four or five shots before they can zone into that distance. But we haven't got that many shots on the golf course Not to get it right either, so Not it's pretty important. Okay, so it's really important to understand that when we're pitching, it's about controlling distance, not creating distance. So we've got to control that distance, not create it. So what we look for, Andy, when we're looking to judge someone's ability with their pitching is, what is the length of their backswing like? Yeah. So first thing, what's the length of the backswing and what is the speed of their through swing? So if yeah. you can understand the length of your backswing and the speed of your through swing, you can actually control distances pretty good. Exactly. Now, Andy, you've got a really good method on how to sort this out, haven't Correct, you? Correct, yes. So with the short game and the pitch shots, we like anybody to play a pitch shot. We don't really want to have a conscious acceleration. Okay. And a lot of people struggle with this. I, I know a lot of golfers who would actually rather be 100 yards away than 40 or 50. Yeah. And that's because they like to hit it hard. Okay. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> that's because they like to hit it hard. Now, when we face with this shot, 50-yard shot, we want to have a no-conscious acceleration. And we hear so often that people are trying to accelerate. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, when I say no conscious acceleration, I don't mean we're going to slow down through the shot, but what we're going to do, if you hold on to that, Pierce... Deceleration is just as, just as dangerous. Definitely just, so, as, yeah. just as dangerous. So we're going to focus on doing what we call, uh, first of all, a uh, gravity arm drop. So we're going to get the arms at shoulder height, and then we're just going to drop them. Now, from here, my arms are still accelerating here. They're not slowing down. They're accelerating, but there's no conscious acceleration. Yeah, they have to. Gravity does its work. Exactly. We learned this from Martin Hall, actually. Yeah, that's right. Good, good golf coach in the States. Superb drill. So we Makes want to apply the same sort of thought and the same feeling into a pitch shot. So the first thing we want you to do, really, Aaron, when you're checking your 50-yard shot is, first of all, we want you to make some swings. Okay, and you're struggling with hitting them too far. So we want you to do some swings with a no conscious acceleration. Mm -hmm. So once you've hit one shot, Okay, if it goes too far, you need to ask yourself two questions. Did you accelerate consciously? If you did, then that's the reason it's yeah, gone too far. Yeah. If you didn't, then the reason it's gone too far is the length of the swing. Okay, so first of all, it's taking out that acceleration, which is going to be key. And then the important thing is matching the length of the swing to the shot okay. pace. And that's the key thing for us. So we always like to see that the length of the swing, either side, of, of back and through, can you know, controls that yeah. distance. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, hit a few shots. Let's, have a, let's, and let's put that theory to test, shall we? Okay, so let's have a practice swing here, and I'm going to focus really again, no conscious acceleration, okay, and I'm going to focus on my length of the backswing controlling that distance there. Okay. So we've got a 50 yard shot here on the 12th at the Asprey. Here's that first shot. Okay, so let's judge that. Mm, not bad, you know. Okay, well, let's nitpick a little bit and say, well, it has gone about three or four yards past, maybe maybe two. Yeah. Um, arms on the way through. Swing on the way through, should felt I Felt under control. Okay. I felt under control there. The speed for me there was good. I felt that I was, again, there was no effort in trying to accelerate. Again, okay. very different to, a, to a, say, a seven iron, full seven iron, yeah. where we create this acceleration. Yeah. I felt that I was very smooth and there was no conscious acceleration on that one. So, let's so I look. would say then, Aaron, if you did that, and exactly as Andy said there, there was no conscious acceleration, didn't feel as though it was accelerating, and it goes 10 yards too far. Guess what? The backswing was too long. Definitely, yeah, we just need to shorten it down a touch. Okay, so have another go at that. It's going to be tricky to improve on that one, to be honest, it there, is, isn't it? A little clean. Okay, okay, just over the back there, so a little bit off the bottom there, not quite yep. the right strike, so yep. that was a poor contact. The motion wasn't too bad there, but the strike wasn't the best. Need to warm up, I think, with first exercise. <laughs> so again, same he here. peaked on the first one. So again, no conscious acceleration. That's good. Just a touch shorter there, yeah, but again, pretty happy with that. Okay. So two out of three, Pierce, not bad. So I, th I, th yeah, I think the thing is here, though, that that method really does work, doesn't it? It gets help, helps people key into that number, that yardage that they want a lot sooner, and it gives them a lot of awareness about their pitching as well, yeah. which a lot of people don't have. And it's a common, th again, lately, lately I've had a few students, my students, who, will, who have come to me and they struggle with controlling that distance on that yeah. pitch shot and I see that they're very short yeah. on the way back and then accelerating through a lot and instantly 
as soon as they take the acceleration out and lengthen the swing to control the distance, yeah. it is instant results. For, for, for some people it can work that, and we hear a lot of people have said you should accelerate on the way through, but we generally see that that doesn't work so well for our students and, and yeah. the way that we like to coach. And remember, we are accelerating, but it's not a conscious yeah, yeah, it's one. Not a conscious. Gravity, arm drop. Perfect. Okay. okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Post your comments down below, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon on Me and My Golf TV. You need to be swaying in your backswing when your lower body moves excessively away from the target and you go through the line. What we would like to see is that in your backswing you rotate into your trail here, staying on the line.